Hello everyone. This is me Sachin Sarave again. Today we are going to discuss the instrumental method for setting out simple circular curve and uh, in this lecture we will discuss what is instrumental method and in previous lecture we have discussed what uh, what are the methods uh, what are the chain type methods for setting out simple circular curve and I have given one example of long chord method and today we are going to discuss the instrumental method which is also known by the method of Rankine's or Rankine's method or deflection angle method so before going further uh, we will understand its field procedure or the procedure in which how the so how this method works so as we all know we have to first place the long chord that is ab and after ab we have to mark the point t1 that is first tangent point then after then at t1 we have to place the instrument that is theodolite and uh, set the angle delta 1 which we will get after calculation and this delta 1 mark one chord and in this chord mark our first chord length that is L1 after marking L1 on the same point even we have to mark second angle delta 2 which I have already calculated I'll, I'll show you how to calculate that, that and after that on a delta delta 2 line we have to mark second chord L2 but uh, we have to mark that chord from the point where L1 ends not from the T1 point we have to mark that chord from this point so if L1 is uh, 5 meter and L2 is 10 meter then 5 meter will be from this point to this point will be 5 meter and next L2 that is 10 meter will be start from here the 10 meter will start from here so this di this distance is L2 which may be any number I have just assumed 10 meter okay so after this L2 we have to mark our third angle that is delta 3 again from T1 and from that AB chord from this AB chord and after marking delta 3 after plotting delta 3 we have to mark our line and on that line we have to mark our third chord that is L3 again this L3 will start from the point where L2 ended not from this point it will start from this point okay and so on uh, number of angles we can set the method so this is method of Rankine's method why I have uh, described this method first because for understanding the derivation we should know the importance of this delta okay so we'll go to our pdf again so instrumental method Rankine's method so ab initial tangent bc forward tangent this is o origin this is radius this is radius this is our delta 1 uh, we have to find out the formula we have to derive the formula for delta 1 that will be the derivation so in the whole the method uh, two things are more important first one is delta second one is l okay so for derivation purpose we will just assume the triangle this triangle okay this triangle okay and in this triangle we say that t1 p1 is l1 so this is t1 this point is p1 so t1 p1 length is l1 and this p1 p2 length is l2 okay so p1 is the first point on the curve t1 p1 is the length of the first chord and as i said earlier i'll just zoom out this angle t1 okay uh, before going further we should understand the angle of circle is 360 degree and this is 2 pi is perimeter of the circle so by considering this rule in this triangle we say that angle t1 o p1 okay this triangle divided by this length should equals to 360 divided by 2 pi this is basic rule of geometry we have already studied that thing in, in initial purposes okay and again angle t1 o p1 is equals to angle t1 o p1 is equals to twice the angle delta 1 okay this is again property of uh, triangle so angle t1 o p1 is equals to twice delta 1 so i have substitute that value here t1 o p1 is equals to twice delta 1 i have sent that l into multiplication and after rearranging the things i have got the formula delta 1 is equals to 360 degree into l1 divided by 2 into 2 pi r okay this 2 i have sent here and this angle uh, the answer is in degrees so if i have to convert that degree into minutes 
I have to multiply it by 60 and after multiplying it by 60 and after doing some calculation the formula for delta 1 becomes 1 1718.9 into L1 divided by R and the unit will be minutes okay so this is simple derivation no need to make it complicated I've just drawn one simple diagram in that diagram I've considered the first chord that I've shown in presentation this is first chord this chord and we have considered the triangle T1 P1 O or T1 O P1 that that length is L1 this angle is twice delta here I've written I've just put it that formula in perimeter formula and I've got that thing okay similarly I can calculate the delta 2 for delta 2 the value will be replaced L, L1 value replaced by L2 so delta 2 will be 1718.9 into L2 divided by R units again will be minutes so this process go on and i can find the number of angles delta n okay and if uh, these formulas are for if angle is given in degree sorry if the degree of curve is given at angle and for solution purpose for finding out the data or for calculation of data of long chord uh, sorry rankings method these simple steps are given so you have to calculate the data according to this step this will be easier so first thing is tangent length second thing is curve length Next, change of first tangent point, change of second tangent point, initial subchord, number of full chord, final subchord, deflection angle for initial subchord, deflection angle for full chord, deflection, these deflection angles, deflection angle for final subchord, arithmetical check, data for field check, and setting out table. This thing is very important, setting out table. I'll explain the uh, setting out table in next video. So, that's it for today. Thank you.